Good morning, friends, and welcome to Tuesday, March 22nd. Our baker starts us off with God is so good. Tuesday's devotion is found in the Upper Room Discipline, written by Julia Seymour. And our scripture reading this morning is Psalm 32, 1 through 5. Happy are those whose transgression is forgiven, whose sin is covered. Happy are those to whom the Lord imputes no inequity, and in whose spirit there is no deceit. While I kept silence, my body wasted away through my groaning all day long. For day and night your hand was heavy upon me. My strength was dried up as by the heat of the summer. And then I acknowledged my sin to you, and I did not hide my iniquity. I said, I will confess my transgressions to the Lord, and you forgave the guilt of my sin. The word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. There are beatitudes found throughout the Bible. Any sentence beginning with blessed are offers guidance into a life of joy and possibility. Such blessings come from living in alignment with God's will and way. The psalmist offers a roadmap for reaching one's own beatific destination, but the on-ramp is steep. Entrance into this blessed way of life comes through speaking honestly to God about one's sins and transgressions and inequities. We are compelled to do a thorough house cleaning of our soul, which is only possible with the Holy Spirit's help. Our sins are the ways that we have missed the mark when we have fallen short or have had things go sideways. Transgressions are more egregious. They are times that we have deliberately chosen not to do better. Transgressions often bring regret and broken trust. Iniquities are the ways acknowledged and unacknowledged. And we have participated in systems of oppression, their exploitation and destruction. All this brokenness gets in the way of a life of blessing. Such a life is experienced through God's provisions and being part of how divine love provides for others. How do we clear the hurdles of sin, transgression, and iniquity so that we can freely run the race of blessings? The psalmist warns that silence about missteps brings grief and pain to the body. Unburdening ourselves through confession to God brings the wholeness and peace that we seek. Whether we engage in a formal rite of contrition or pray alone, God's grace equips us with the assurance of forgiveness. Let us never fail to avail ourselves of this blessing. Let us pray. O forgiving God, hear our confession of all that causes us to feel separated from your love and from others. Amen. Our closing hymn is Amazing Grace, verse 2. Twas 
Blessings to you all.